Hello everybody, Andrew Majewski here with Dental L. How is everybody doing again? I know I probably keep on asking that, but it's hard, it's hard not to. When you go online and that's literally all you see on Instagram, Facebook, everywhere is about the coronavirus. So I just can't help but have that on my mind. And I will be talking to you guys about today. A lot of people have been asking me for opinions, for suggestions on what to do if you are that dental assistant or a dental hygienist that feels like you have to work even if you don't want to because they have talked about closing down offices and being available only for emergencies but you might still not feel comfortable with that you might not want to work or your boss is just simply going about things like usual and treating patients you might be screening patients but you might still be treating them anyway or you're not really doing the right screening um, and you've had to treat them but you just don't feel comfortable because you don't want to catch something you don't want to not know you have something and then bring it home to your family and you feel bad because of that and a lot of you guys probably have a spouse or a member of your family who might still have to work depending on what job they have. So I can only speak for dental professionals. Um, I used to work in offices too where on more than one occasion, on several occasions, I would be, you know, to just keep it simple, I would be so sick that I wouldn't want to go to work. I would call in sick and they would basically say, well, you might not have a job then because you're calling in on too short notice. We don't have time to find somebody. Get here now because we need you. And you're, you're kind of like, oh my God, well, I don't want to lose my job. I'm so sick. I just want to stay home. But if I stay home, I feel guilty. I don't want to lose my job. So it's kind of the same thing. You might work for an office that makes you uncomfortable. So my suggestions are, and again, this is just my, my opinion because I can't speak from personal experience anymore because I work for myself. I don't work for an office. I have my own dental hygiene business. But if I did, if I did not feel comfortable going to work, I wouldn't do it. I would um, say, I'm sorry. I would say, I don't feel comfortable coming in. I'm not going to. And then let them do what they want to do. If you lose your job, well, you're going to have to find another one. They're not allowed to do that to you, but I totally understand that it doesn't matter what they're allowed to do and what they're not allowed to do. Even if they, if they do something they're not allowed to do, such as letting you go because you don't feel comfortable working, what are you going to do? Are you going to call the employment standards and go through all of that paperwork? You will probably never be able to speak to a person. It's not as easy as people think, but I would not go in. If I, I don't know, think about it. W would you prefer to go into work every day and be so scared and so fearful and so stressed out? and then come home at the end of the day and just have that extra ang um, anxiety because you have to do it again tomorrow. If you're okay with that, then fine, that's fine. Keep on working. But if you keep on saying to yourself, no, I'm not okay with this. No, I don't want to work. Then don't work. Call in and say, I, I can't, I don't feel comfortable. Um, I'm going by the, the order of we have to stay home. That's what I'm going to do. If they let you go, then go through the appropriate channels and deal with that. But those, that's my two cents. If you're okay with, with being anxious every day, then, you know, you have made that choice for you. Um, I don't know. What does everybody feel about this? I, if I don't feel comfortable doing something though. I just simply don't do it. It's that simple. I make it simple. I know it's not that simple, but I make it simple. So I suggest you guys do the same or just be prepared for the consequences. Be, be, be anxious every day. Be stressed out every day. I think life is too short to have to deal with that. You don't want to work for an office that puts you through that. There are better offices out there. So I hope that helps you guys. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one.